Good evening, Auburn High School parents and guardians. Today is Thursday, October 21st, and you've probably heard from your students that today was a really challenging day at Auburn High. My name is Jeff Gardner. I'm the principal of Auburn High School, and I'm. this is my fifth year here, and I would say today probably been the most difficult day since I've been here. We had three different fights in our building. Um, not gonna color or sugarcoat them, just gonna tell you what the exact situations were. We had a situation in an upstairs restroom, boys restroom, or we had a mixture of boys and girls. And basically what had happened was uh, there was a jumping and a student, maybe two were jumped by two other individuals. We have video on that. We're looking into everything we can do as a school um that was situation one situation two um we had another attack on a single student by three students um and then later on uh within the same hour we had a student um hit um i think on his head i'm still investigating that one by a student who took off but we have that student id so basically what the result was today is all students involved with the situation um or on the periphery of the situation. We've worked with their parents, legal guardians. They know they cannot return to school until further notice. We'll work with the parents, of course. We are dedicated to educating our students, but what we're not dedicated to is preserving the rights of students who create safety issues in our building. Some of the safety issues look pretty harmless, um, and some of them lead to situations like today. Um, we've identified as an administrative staff probably about two weeks ago, uh, maybe a little bit longer, maybe about three weeks ago, a group of about a dozen, dozen and a half students who are not engaging in their learning on any type of a consistent level, uh, which draws our attention to maybe they're up to other things. Um, we've had a few conflicts earlier in the week, last week, uh, kind of between some students who aren't related, uh, really with those students I just talked about. And we're starting to find that they have become, some of them have become the go-betweens. They're spreading gossip, they're spreading misinformation, and they're causing a lot of uh, drama in our school. And that is very much tied to safety issues. Um, you don't have to throw a punch. You don't have to unmask yourself during COVID to be considered unsafe. So as the principal, you know, I did a quick research on everything that I have within my capabilities. I had to run it through my district people and yes, we will start removing students immediately. Uh, what I'm asking you as parents and guardians, talk to your students, let them know that school officials, teachers, administrators, front office workers, counselors, all of us are here to dedicate ourselves to their education. Sometimes we need their cooperation. We may have to ask them for their names in the hallway. Today, I sent two students home because they weren't willing to do that. That is a safety issue, especially now that we're wearing masks and we do allow headwear in our building, but we that has never been an issue, but the masks become kind of an issue. The good thing is it's really not that hard to identify people once we take videos off our cameras and we kind of turn those into stills and share them with people in the building who are on a need to know basis. So. It really doesn't take us long to figure out who is who, but it would really be nice if students, some of the students who are not cooperative could be more cooperative. So anyway, I just wanna let you know what happened in school today. We did have some violence um, resulting in some pretty heavy discipline. And tomorrow should be, I'm anticipating a pretty calm day. Uh, we've heard some rumors about retaliation, things like that. Um, every day in our school, we lock all doors except the main door. We may post somebody up there, but basically, unless students are allowing other students in side doors where we can't see them during passing, um, the building does stay tight. So just know that it's a safe school. Um, and I know rumors are rumors. We still have to take them serious. We take them serious. But uh, just want to let you know kind of what did happen today. We did get extra police presence. And, uh, you know, most of our kids, when I say most, I'm talking about 95% or more are doing the right things. They're showing up to class. They're on time. They're not dragging their feet. Um, they're using restrooms appropriately. They're cleaning up after themselves at lunchtime. They're doing all the things you've parented them to do. 
So thank you. They're doing a great job. They're here for the right reasons. But now I have to start focusing on those that are kind of taking away their rights. And that's what I'm going to do. So we've done that today. Um, and we'll continue doing that. And I feel bad to say that, but we may have to find some alternative placements for educating some of our youth because right now they're not buying into the way we do things here at Auburn High School. I have support of the district. I have support of the legal system. And I just want to thank all of you who are doing such a marvelous job as your students, first teachers, and as their parents and guardians, showing them the right way. Our kids really want to do the right thing. And they have the best staff in the world right here to help them do that. So anyway, thank you. I felt compelled to give you a little bit of report after today. Today was probably the worst day I've had here yet. I got to be in three different classrooms and I'm just amazed at the magic our teachers are working with kids, kids who want to engage, kids who want to learn math and social studies and language arts. It was, uh, it really was kind of a tale of two schools today. In the classrooms, it was great. In some of the common areas, we've got that element going on, but we will take care of it. We're managing it. So thank you for listening. Have a good evening and have a great weekend.